Yes, hello everyone. Welcome back to Tiger Wolf Productions going up on a Saturday. And, uh, well, today I've got something a little more interesting for you here today. Um, <clears throat> yes, as you can see, the, the, um, yeah, it's, this is the Indoraptor, um, from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Um, a new Jurassic World movie just came out, like, last month, so, eh, what, what better time? I, I do have this guy, um, had this guy for quite a while now, never reviewed him, so I might as well, um, I'm not too keen on the Indoraptor, um, it, it's a, it's a hybrid of of blue, you know, the Velociraptor and the Indominus Rex. It's a hybrid of a hybrid, what? I, but there's a special reason I got this guy in particular and, and you'll see what that is pretty soon. Um, this guy also has a bit of a surprise going for him, but, um, and, and oh, what what is that surprise? Well, I'll, I'll tell you later on in the review. So, yeah, it's got kind of the crocodilian back with the quills and whatnot. Um, before Jurassic World domination, um, this was about the closest thing to feathers we got on a dinosaur, at least in the Jurassic World franchise. There's his claws. His hands are a bit too human looking to me. Makes me think um, Velociraptor and Indominus Rex aren't the only creatures this guy is made of. Um, and yes, he does have quills on his arms here as well. You can sit him on all fours like that. You can get him sniffing the ground like a dog. Here's the face. I really don't like the scene where, um, well, the movie's been out since 2018, so I guess I can say this. I really don't like the scene where he's in the cage and this guy is coming to come, coming to pluck one of his teeth out and you see him grin at the camera. I don't like that at all. It's, it's, it's like you're, you're watching that and you're like, did that thing just smirk at me? What? Yeah. Yeah, I only recently saw the movie Fallen Kingdom, so yeah, black, gold, red for the eyes, yellow for the teeth, mouth does open, he's got a tongue in there. Uh, th this part of the tail's on a ball joint, but you can only really wag further making the dog connection that I made earlier. Uh, this part of the tail does not move. Do not be fooled by the seam. Um, legs kick. Uh, ball joint here. Uh, this one, this one here's got a little, this one's just fine, but yeah. Oh God, that looks painful. All right. Um, arms go. Get some swiping action there. Elbows bend. Yeah. Oh god! Oh god! Ah! Okay. Okay. Again, mouth opens. Head tilts. Looking like a confused dog. Jaws a little off centered, but again, they're. This guy's hiding something. I'll, I'll tell you what that is later. You can also nod in agreement. And he can also disagree with you. Like, the Indoraptor really disagrees with me. I re I'm really not too keen on, on the concept of the Indoraptor. It's a hybrid of a hybrid. I What? I... I wasn't too big on the Indominus Rex either. Um... 
I was expecting something really scary, like a like a T Rex with with a Triceratops head or something. Uh, Indominus just looked like a regular Jurassic Park dino, not not a realistic dino. Because if these movies were realistic, they would have feathers, and they didn't really. At least not until uh, Domination. Now. But the detail is nice. And the sculpt is nice as well. There's the signature claw. The webbing in between his feet is a little dusty. Tried to clean this guy off as best I could. Yeah, but yeah, but the sculpt and detail is nice. There's the eye. I don't know if he had this in the movie, actually. I, if he had these red spots here on the movie, he probably did. For how much I remember the creature. Better look at the detail here. If he's a bit dusty, you'll have to excuse me. This reminds me of a Komodo dragon. It's bird-like feet. Again, these hands are a bit too human looking to make me think. Yeah. I do like this. Um, I think this is a carryover from Blue, because you know, Blue has this, she has this kind of blue stripe on her sides. Maybe this is like his twist on that, because uh, I think Blue's DNA was used to create him, so. Um, the first Jurassic World, um, I would say, is a bit of a guilty pleasure for me. I, I don't mind the movie. Jurassic World Domination, oh god, no, no, no. I mean, I mean, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. I haven't seen Domina Domination yet, but Fallen Kingdom, pfft, no. Uh, <clears throat> uh, as for the original Jurassic Park trilogy, of course, the first one is a timeless classic. Jurassic Park, The Lost World, oh yeah, great movie. Jurassic Park 3, 3 is a bit of a guilty pleasure for me. I, I kind of like Jurassic Park 3. But yeah. As much as I don't like the creature, he is pretty fantastic looking. And I don't like the creature solely because he doesn't make any sense. Um, now, now, what, what's, what surprise is this guy hiding? Believe it or not, he's a bootleg. Yeah, um... Yeah, he's not a licensed figure. Yeah. Bootleg. It's a knockoff. And it looks this good. Really surprised me. And if I don't care for the Indoraptor so much, why did I get this figure? Well, it's because he makes a perfect stand-in. for Richter. Um, yeah. Richter from Killer Instinct. He, he's, he's about the only... Yeah, he's about the only figure that actually... Like... Like, he scales perfectly with Saber Wolf here. Like, yeah. Of course, Richter's female, but like, um, if I get the Richter keychain here, yeah, pretty strong resemblance. It, it, maybe if you painted this guy orange and painted a quill silver and this this part blue, he. Yeah, be a dead ringer for Richter. So yeah, that that's why I got this guy. Yeah. Get 
the keychain back on here real quick in the video. So yeah, that, that was a quick video on a bootleg Indoraptor figure. Um, should you pick it up? I don't condone the purchase of knockoffs, but yeah, if you like what you see here, go for it. This is Tiger Wolf Productions. I'll see you next time.